Hello everyone, welcome to Bespoke Flooring Solutions Limited and I'll show you a little bit of flooring. It can be a little bit of DIY method. This floor is full of moisture and damp. So uh, here we go, we're just using this Ultra Instramac DPM. Mix it like this, two parts. So uh, mix it for two, three minutes. And uh, once it's mixed, pour it on the floor and trowel it on. Once you troweled it, then you must roll it, make sure it covers all the pinholes. Okay. It's all rolled, looking nice. Moisture can't come through this, so really good stuff. And then prime it. Make sure you prime or PVA it. Don't dilute it. Always use on a surface like DPM. Must use the primer as a knit, so don't dilute any water with it. So uh, make sure you prime all the edges and uh, let it dry for like half an hour or one hour. Once it's fully dry, then uh, you can use all types of leveling compound to smooth out the floor. There we go, this is latex leveling compound. Mix it, pour it, trowel it, and uh, if you've got a spike roller, spike roller as well. That gets rid of all the pinholes and the air trap that will release it. But don't use it here, it's a small area, this will do it. But in a big area, you should always use a spike roller. Okay, all done, latex will dry and uh, we'll come back next morning and lay the Amtico. There you go, the Amtico is laid, all the planks are laid with a full pressure uh, sensitive adhesive, it's called F46. Do a central line first and then work your way to the left and right. So whenever you lay Amtico and Condine and as well as LVT flooring, dry lay and cut all the awkward areas like door frame places, then glue it down. That's the best method. Right, okay. Glue is spread it out. Once the glue is dried, because with F46 pressure sensor it takes like 10-15 minutes to dry, but it stays you know, taggy and sticky for like almost half an hour to one hour. Okay, you can see I've dry laid it first, all the awkward areas, then I actually glue it down. That's the best method. Once it's all done, roll it always roll it and then once you finish with the roller make sure it's all pressed into the adhesive okay all done there we are that's the main kitchen looking really great it looks like real wood hope this video gives you an idea this was just a quick video of how we do flooring and uh, hope you enjoyed subscribe and like the video thank you very much bye bye